would tell any young dude, you have so much time to provide. You know what I'm saying? And then don't let social media convince you that there isn't a difference between girlfriend, fiance, wife. Right. There's different stages. Mm -hmm. There's different responsibilities that you have. There's different things that you both are going to agree on. All right. There's no way you could meet a woman, make her your girlfriend, and then automatically provide for her, right? Like she's your wife. Mm -hmm. When the position itself is temporary. So this woman may be mm -hmm. with you today and in six months, be with somebody else and you be with somebody else and then you got to provide for them. Or she may be with you today and in a year, she's your fiance. The position, regardless, is temporary. The position is temporary. Yeah. All right. Yeah, man, it's completely different. Anybody that thinks it's not, it's crazy. You know what I mean? I feel like one thing, the best time that you're going to have with your woman is, is her as a fiance. <laughs> you know what I mean? Your girlfriend, that's not really much at stake at that. They could be gone tomorrow. But fiance means that y'all are preparing to take it to the next level. And that excitement is there. You know what I'm saying? She's excited. She's, uh, you know, feel like it's a, it's y'all actually building. So that's a different type of excitement. You know how they say sometimes women, once you get married, they change or they stop doing the things that they used to do and all that. When they a fiance, look. They're going to treat you good. You know what I'm saying? Because they, they're happy about it. And it's never the same. And it's always an upgrade. Like, And I also hear women sometimes say, oh, I'm not going to do uh, wife things if I'm just a girlfriend. Well, then you're never going to be a wife. That's how it happens. You know what I'm saying? Like, you start acting like what you want to be. Same way with a man. You can't act like you want to be a husband. And, and you still stay out the four in the morning. You still, you know what I'm saying, would rather go do this with the guys and what have you. You're putting yourself in a position for failure if you don't think you have to change for it. So women, when you become, if you are looking to become a wife, you got to be a fiance first. You know what I'm saying? And you got to be, a, when you become a girlfriend, you may have to do wifely things to show that you can be a wife, to show that, man, that, you know what? Maybe, I, maybe this is it. Maybe I can. You know what I'm saying lock it in and go from there. So yeah, it's three completely different things. And any, anybody that don't think so, you you know nothing. You don't know better. All right, go ahead, Sharon. Yeah, I agree. There's a difference, and just understanding just the levels to it, so you don't just have to be overwhelmed or get tricked into overplaying your part. I think like when they're younger, they overplay their roles, or they feel inadequate because they're not understanding the different levels to things. So I'm all for it. Yeah, so, Sharette, since you're the only woman on the panel, do you think that a woman should provide, uh, should she show that she has wife capabilities by doing quote unquote wifey things before she's a fiance or a wife? Um, yeah, I don't think full term though. I don't think she should like continue like all the way move in because it still has this whole like don't give away the whole cow. I mean, like don't give away the the milk or you can get the cow for free thing or whatever. So there should be. But I mean, if they have they live in separate places, he should be able to go over there and see that she's neat. She's clean. She should be able to cook for him a couple of times a week, make things simpler, help with the budgeting, just everything that could make his life simpler. She should already be doing that. To just like give him like a experience of okay, there could be so much more, but not all the way like six kids, you know what I'm saying? Like there's still gotta be some type of level to what you get before the ring. Um, I think as time progresses and you get closer to the different levels, um, you can see a difference in men's behavior. Um in, in uh, up front, if he is doing too much, you have to like ask yourself the intentions he, does he know how it goes or um is he just being nice or whatever but as, as time goes on they start to do more and that's how you know that they are more interested so i do believe it's a difference but and to answer your question you do have to show that you are a wife in a way um i'm not advocating for premarital sex um, but I am, I am saying that you should, you know, like, like Sherelle said, you should be able, he should know how you cook. 
you she should be able to observe that you keep your place clean. N- nobody said go clean his house. Like with, with guys, we, when they start talking about, well, you need to clean my house so I know that it's clean. Like stop playing the game, sir. Please stop. Well, you should try on my ring before I do all that. You know, so when when men start to say like, uh-huh. I, demand, <laughs> I demand sex, I start saying I demand marriage. It's, that's what it is. That's what it's going to be. And when you start putting your foot down, um, you may, with the right person, you may get what you want. So um, a wife is a wife. You know, a wife is um, going to do, she has a duty to her husband. Um, so yeah, I do think you should sample, like give, you know, be there for that person and try to reciprocate at their level as well. Don't be doing too much, but don't do too little. Don't just keep receiving and don't get anything back. And I think when men, they don't expect you to tit for tat them. They just, I think, I think I asked a guy, how many times do you have to, uh, take a woman out before you want her to take her, you out? And he was like three to one or something like that. Like that's kind of how I see it. Like, they want you to do something, kick in sometimes, not every single time. Okay. I had a question, though. All right, what's the question? Some guy told me that um, for for the for, this is the old head, he was like, for one year, you don't do nothing for that man. You just, you know, let him provide for you. And that way, after a whole year of taking you out and giving you stuff, he don't want to back down because he put too much money into you. So now he want to see the rest of us through. <laughs> he was saying basically wait a year to have sex and let the man do for you. You know, uh, do y'all think it's any kind of merit to that uh, advice? Um, wait on it. <laughs> Until he become your best friend. And when he can't live without you, then, you know, you got him or something like that. That's what he said. I would I think, say, uh, like, I think a man will probably wait for a woman that he he believes is worth waiting for. I don't think it's going to be every woman that he's going to wait. For. But I think if he sees some potential in her, he really like her and rock with her, and she says she may have some qualities that that may go past the initial just dating. And I, I think he would yeah, stick around. You know, some men will stick around and then they'll still do what they do. You may not just know what he's doing, but he'll still do what he do. And he'll still be respectful to you and still wait. And that's the reason why uh, men will often say, you know, there's no such thing as male friends because a, a man is just they're chill for the longest. They'll go ahead and just wait it out. And all right, that's cool. You want to give it up? That's fine. Or if they don't see that you leading towards that, they just do what they're doing. But technically, he's single until he's married too, right? So he, he's free to do that unless it's a conversation that's being had as far as y'all being exclusive. So. It could be some truth into it, but not every woman is that woman. So if you, if you think that that you are, that's, that's really not up for you to really decide. You can be all of that, but he's still going to do what he want to do regardless. I would say, I, I would say, it's all on the communication between you and him. I mean, if you just moving like that and you concealing your decision on how you're going to move, you're not making him aware that hey, look. I'm not going to give you none for a whole year. I would say that's malicious. But if you communicated to him and say, hey, look, I like you. I want more out of this. Uh, But my standard is to wait a year. And then you can go into further conversation with him to try to get an agreement on that. But I would also, I mean, if I'm in this situation and I and I want more out of her, I would I would challenge it by saying, hey, look, uh, what are you give me? What are you gonna give me in exchange for me being exclusive and monogamous to you? Like, I have urges, I have needs. You know, I want it to be with you. How how can we deal with that? You know what I'm saying? Or are you okay with me releasing, my, releasing myself in other fashions until we can get there? <laughs> Roof. <laughs> what was the question? You want to? The question is: You are you okay with religion? Law, law, go ahead and put that long facts. Go ahead and rephrase it for me with the long facts. Look, he asking how I yeah. like what's going to suffice because I have urges. He said, man, handle won't it himself handle it, your brother. But I think he means that's not what he I said. To, 
you know, the other ways that I can. Are you okay with that, regardless of what that is? What's the, but no, don't, don't add no regardless. Wait, wait a minute. Well, I mean, he, I, I think he's saying if he needs to go get some, can he go get some from somebody else? Well, he ain't getting it from you. Well, he ain't, we ain't together, and that's what it is. Yes, yeah, study. And that is the reason why you don't play house. That's the reason why they said it's temporary and all this. So the thing about it is you want monogamy, but you know monogamy come with a cost. It means you got to bust it open. So yeah. if you're not... I'm, I'm, just, I'm just saying, if, if there's some men out here that agree with to be monogamous and not get any sex out of it. I don't know any. I've never ran into any, but I'm not going to sit here and go on the record and say they don't exist. But I'm just humoring your... Your, your position on this on this conversation saying, what if I'm like, hey, look, I'm going to be exclusive. I'm going to be monogamous, but what do I get in chance? Do I get a hand job or some shit? Like, what? Yeah, study. <laughs> hand job? Bro. All right. Look, I mean, I'll, I'll answer your question. But, 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 wait. I'm sorry. One more time. All right. I'll answer you in a second. I'm so sorry. Um, you said you want a wife, right? And then we talked about all of these things tonight. But y'all want wifely duties. But that's not your wife. You just said it's levels. If it's levels, then it should be levels to the sexual part as well. That's my only point. Like, no, dude, we, we talking about wifely booty. Tonight. Look, wifely listen, booty. I'll tell you this. Most men will wait for a virgin. If you are not a virgin, you are disqualified to make me wait. I'm sorry. If somebody else got past the gate, I want to get past the gate too. I'm not going to be objectively better than yours. And then you were offering me less. That's not how it works. If you want to do that, that's fine. I would never tell a woman what to do with her body, but she damn sure ain't going to tell me what to do with mine. If you are a virgin, you are worth the weight. If you are not, in my opinion, you are not. Now I'll, I'll address the actual topic unless you wanted to respond to it, but I'll, I well, do want to address the topic. Either, um, y'all, y'all ain't virgins neither. It's but I'm not right. asking you to wait. Right, he not holding out. Yeah, I'm not if asking you to wait. The right thing, right? Let's just say they believe in God. They believe in, you know, ha being respectful, marry before you carry, all of that stuff. Don't give away the cow, all of that stuff. And she's trying to do the right thing. You, y'all don't encourage it. That's the issue that I have. Mm, that's where we you do wrong. encourage it if you are a vir we encourage you to but be a virgin to marriage wait for marriage that's what we say wait for Trev, wait till marriage hold on, on Trev let's humor that change. Go ahead, that was a good question Ruth but you you brought up God and do what God or what the Bible says or whatever the word says but show me in the word where it says you should be dating I don't believe in dating either 